We've talked about them all year long, and now with signing day just a few weeks away, Colorado continues to be of importance and interest in the West region. And Deion Sanders is someone who's going to have to close strong here uh, to you know, sustain an, an interesting recruiting class and something of substance. The, there are only nine commits now for the Buffaloes. Um, they rank 69th in the country, sandwiched in between there between Navy and Cal. Um, that's not the place that he intended to be. Um, with his first full recruiting class. Um, but this is the sense that he is going back to the portal and he's going back hard. Um, and that is just as important as as high school recruiting. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see. He needs an offensive line. He's not going to be able to bring guys in from the high school ranks, develop them over two or three years, and then hope that they pan out. He needs a quick fix uh, there. They They basically just stopped running the ball and Shador Sanders um, was just beaten up so badly down the stretch. Um, but he needs other positions as well. Uh, th- th- this is still not a loaded football team. Uh, they did go from 1-11 and 11 and just a pitiful-looking team to 4-8. and eight. Uh, But Deion Sanders was not looking for 4-8. and eight. He said it was the hardest time of his life um, coaching this team down the stretch. Um, and, and I think that depth, I think not having depth, especially along – the offensive line, but at other positions too, really played into them uh, really trailing off down the stretch. So uh, nine commits in the high school ranks is not where they want to be, um, but this really is the sense now that they're going to hit the portal again, probably not as hard as last year, but still significantly hard to load up, especially along the offensive line.